Hey guys, it's Tarkin, and today in Hardcore World, we are just going to do what we were doing before, uh, which is to load up on stuff and get going home. Now, I do need to figure out what I want to carry and what I don't, and also to remember where I left the boat. But I think at this point, we're just going to uh, you know, because we can always come back here pretty easy. I think I'm I'm worrying too much about what I'm carrying with me, and I need to just uh, grab my stakes and uh, and get moving. So I need to uh, find my stuff. Very important. You don't want to go anywhere without stuff. I don't think there's a way to throw your entire inventory into a chest, but you can do, like, way more of it at a time in certain methods, none of which I was using there, but just want to grow ahead and grab a bucket of water real quick. Uh, you'll really kick yourself if you need a bucket of water and you don't have it. All right, so, well, I did have a backup shield somewhere. I don't have it on me. I do need to keep that in mind. My sword can't handle too much more action, but... Did I leave all my iron ore up there? Okay, well, first of all, before we leave, a little bit of a reminder that my brain is a sack of useless electricity, and I will always forget the most important things. And while I can come back for stuff eventually, I'm not going to leave, like, 11 iron up here. Can't believe I did that. Pretty silly. You know, the initial plan was probably to go down, fill up the uh, the chest, and come back for everything else. But it was uh, yesterday when I did the last playthrough. And, you know, if you have a brain like mine, you don't always remember what your plans were. It's important to see things through uh, for that reason. Never want to uh, run the risk of trying to remember a thing. Because that may not work out. But no point in not getting a few more torches. 12 is enough for a totally secure time. And also I realized as we came back up here that we we almost did the big oops and left our, uh, left our bed. Either that or we, we either left our bed in the boat when I moved everything over and didn't notice. Which is okay because it'll be there. Or I, I didn't pick it up at all, but I wasn't going to go down and check because I've already been starting this journey for several minutes. But I, uh, I'm continually fascinated. No, oh, can't craft in the middle of the boat. Maybe because there's a chest in it, but uh, that'll be all right. I don't, I don't need to. I just, I have the oak planks. And uh, enough for another uh, sword, and because uh, I think a sword's just two iron, and then a uh, shield with the uh, the planks and the ingots that I have. So as we gaze out at the marvelous world, we're just gonna hit F3 real quick, get a cord uh, thing. So I don't want to do anything super careless, which means we need to go back to a place that we recognize because this is about as far in this direction as we've gone we could skirt the other side of this uh, cherry tree biome looking for stuff but that'll only be you know a, a perilous distraction the the idea here is to actually do uh what we're supposed to do which is to uh go and find the remaining caches of material so that we can return home to the hardcore uh, base that we're developing. Feed Garuda some seeds. Apologize to them for how long we've been away. Uh, and get on with the next phase, which is to emerald up. Got to uh, got to increase the number of emeralds that I have. And to do that, we're just going to farm, you know, animals and and crops in various ways, and maybe even uh, cobblestone. You know, we'll do whatever. That's 
suspicious looking. Deeply suspicious looking. All right, we'll have to come back to that and check it out when we have a brush and a little more time. I bet there's uh, some special gravel there. I I haven't I haven't ever checked out one of those underwater structures with a brush yet. I was going to on the last Hardcore World, but well, we all know why I'm in this one. Yes, we we certainly do. So that sand pillar is the sand pillar of spawn. And we're just going to want to try to strike out uh, toward the ocean proper. And we'll be able to skirt around the outside of it. And hopefully link up to a place that we'll recognize. Um, the, uh, the clock, which what an amazing item for hardcore. It stops you from having to try to remember yet. So there's that. This will be the, uh, the pillar that I thought the pillar of spawn was. And this will be the one uh, by the beach uh, that we had to, uh, not not the beach of the island defense, but the beach where we dug up a very large amount of it for uh, the buried treasure. At least I believe that's where we're going to come at it over here. So, you know, it's all quite centrally located. And then, yes, indeed. So that's the, uh, that's the island pillar there. Uh, we're first going to go to this beach because I don't remember if I left anything here. And... Uh, and of course, from that other island, it'll be a shot up the coastline to uh, to get to the villages. And that'll be, you know, uh, the continuation of our journey and a great success. I'm just nervously looking around. We've got another one of those structures, not a monument, but an underwater structure. So there's probably a chest there. There's probably a lot of things, but I don't have doors. And I don't know why I stopped here. With, you know, the signatory sand tower is all the way signing up into the sky that this is the, this is the lighthouse. And yet I, I went further. So here, oh, it just makes my blood hot looking at it. You'll never guess what happened there if you didn't watch the video. Oh my God, it took so long. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. We're going to, we're going to stay restrained and peaceful. But we uh, leave the bed there. No, we don't need to leave the bed here because this is not like a valuable and reputable beach. Nothing of value is here. This is not a place of honor. You know, this is just where we, we cracked into a box on a timeline I can describe as uh, long. Um indeed uh painful but we're just going to zoom across the ocean here cinematic zooming view it's funny that my character looks up at at the camera probably do some little mechanima stuff just nodding along but i never like uh the looking backwards view i always want to be able to look around because of course in hardcore, your your visibility is everything. You can do a lot of stuff as long as you know what's going on around you. And I really struggle with that, of course. I am constantly forgetting how to how to behave responsibly. Only three arrows. Shockingly, I picked up the crafting table off of this beach, but. All right, so a little bit of lapis. I'd forgotten that we had that there. We're going to leave the sand, but take the sandstone just because it's quite easy to get more sand. Actually, it's quite easy to get more sandstone too, but I'm just going to eat a little bit of mutton, and it's coming on nighttime, so I think uh, we will uh, we'll bed down here for the day. But I was just trying to free up a little bit of inventory space because, of course, when it does come to be nighttime, one of the things that you want to be able to do is pick up the items of uh, your foes. And, uh, of course, that'll be a good opportunity to 
visit the sheep, which I've just now remembered are here. So are there any other caches of stuff? I don't... I don't think so. There's the one double chest in the Sunflower Plains, but I think we've basically picked up everything. So, hmm. Seems good. I think we'll just take these uh, flowers for the uh, beautification. of the village and uh just wait for night see if uh there's a couple of mobs and then just pop them but i think we have such coverage here that there's really no point in uh in waiting through the night unless we want to like get in a brawl with an enderman speaking of i should have water around so i've been thinking a lot about it and i think if an enderman sees me i need to like do a thing where uh i'll go like this and dig one down and then i will throw the water no we don't want to dig one down because the water just disappears we'll just put the water into a random spot and then hide in the middle of it and then when they you know when they try to come in yeah okay yeah that's what we'll do this will be the enderman strat i'm developing it so first even in a flat area it spreads out like huge okay so huge area flat out dive in and try to get into a single spot here. And this, you know, you would have to worry about your, your breath, but you'd be, like, protected by the, the water. And that this way, if there were a lot of them messing with you, you'd be able to be safe. It is probably, like, really basic level stuff, but, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. So, just uh, developing uh, my ideas for survival. Because I think the bucket is going to be key towards uh, towards a lot of good moves. Uh, you know, it's good for traversing areas. Oh, that's right. I'm like, I felt like I had more stuff. And indeed I do. There's this chest in here. I don't know what the bottle of enchanting does. It might just like make you better at enchanting. I know. Wow. What a, what an insight. But like, uh, so the tables sort of like you power them up. I, I don't really know how they work, but you have to get like a lot of bookshelves around them. So it's it's possible that those bottles will will make it so you don't have to worry about that. These things are all fine to leave. The prismarine crystals we won't leave behind. It's funny, it's just nighttime and I'm sitting there casually, but you know, you can hear the mobs before they go. And with this level of light coverage, we're not actually in any danger. We are going to go pick a fight over here though. Just because this zombie, you know, he's been waiting. Anxiously waiting for purpose. And we're going to deliver him some. I dodge <laughs> to the left. Willing him not to hit me. But, uh, yeah, there you go. That'll be the, the day and the night. I have no desire, absolutely no desire... Uh, to be brave. Oh, I should have uh, should have closed the door. You know, if if I have a little place built up, I've just slept in the middle of a field at this point. I don't think it it actually matters, but it matters to me abstractly to you know behave well. So we're just going to be able to jump into the next day. We've got 14 lapis, which is nice. 19 lapis. So and of course that's like a, a very essential item you got to have lapis because that's how you uh you enchant things and we're just going to go up in this direction a couple of thousand blocks uh really it's just like 1000 in one direction 1000 in the next which due to uh mathematics you know is less than 2000 but uh unless it's more I, you know, maybe eventually I'll get over how pretty I think Minecraft is. But whenever I see that, and I didn't even make it, you know, but I, I sort of emulated it a little bit in in my survival world. Like, that is just a lovely shock of color there. It, there's, like, an absolute joy that I get looking up at a cherry tree ridgeline. And finding so many of them here has been amazing as well. And I think I have one sapling in the village, but if I don't, I'll have to uh, 
work on that. And right now we are sort of at a quandary. First of all, I could just sort of go around if it would be practical to, but I need to just look. Yeah, all right, so this is a sort of intervening island here, but I'll just I'll just skirt around the outside there. The long, long way, yeah, because uh, we need to go sort of far anyway, and that'll let us get closer to those spruce trees because I do actually want to make a small detour on my way home. I know, but it was always part of the plan uh, to get four spruce saplings. I mean, more would be better. Uh, uh, four is what you need to grow a very small one, although even just one, you know, if you, you grow a tree and then you knock it down, you get, you know, the leaves and so on. You go, you go infinite. But we're just looking around. Okay, so the other time with when I left, rather than going in that direction, I would have struck out across the ocean that way. That makes sense. I, you know, I don't think at that point I was worried about the uh, the possible presence of guardian monuments, or maybe I just hadn't noticed one, but. There's a little mushroom over there, the Dark Forest continuation. And as I say, nervous about monuments, I realize I don't know where this one is, so we're just going to look around. I remember there sort of being one somewhat kind of over here, which is just the level of precision that can make a man nervous. Uh, but... I really like this game. When I first started playing hardcore, I, you know, if you were watching it, you'll know what I was like. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I was sort of joyful about it, you know, like I wasn't, I wasn't upset that I didn't know what I was doing. I, but now that I just do a little bit, oh, nether portal up there. So we'll go this way and uh, collect from the nether portal and a couple saplings. No, I, I don't have any inventory space. I just need to... Uh... Keep going this way. I think in just like a... Uh... Before too long, we should be seeing the, the villages, but maybe not. Maybe I'm lost again. And are those... Is this like a whole different cherry tree biome? than the one that I thought I was around. Anyway, it's all right. Because everywhere I look, I see something that I want to. <laughs> the, the good thing about having the old videos is I could go in and just like click around until I get to a place with an F3 screen and figure out, you know, why I've gotten lost. But, you know, as, as it's pointed out in Alice in Wonderland, if you don't care where you're going, then it doesn't matter. We're just going to cut a little wide berth there from that wolf or dog. I think they're wolves. Obviously, they all are. I, I say this, like, every time that I see one. It, it's probably a little bit annoying, but I, <laughs> I'm unlikely to change my ways. I... You know, if somebody doesn't like the way I am, I I understand. But what I can't do is uh, help you with it. You're you're gonna have to help yourself. Speaking of helping ourselves, we're gonna get away from that lava flow, which is just sort of like playfully jumping out of the wall. And I've gone just so far in this direction. And I don't think I meant to. You know, if I had taken the sand instead of the sandstone, I'd be able to make a pillar to look around. But I didn't do that. I wanted to say that it was like... Uh... I don't think it was negative 2000 X, but it was like, like 1200 uh, Y. So we're going now in the wrong direction. Uh, to make it back home. Of course, the compass won't lead us there. And 
neither, you know, like even if it could point to a bed, that wouldn't matter because we uh, we don't have a bed. But this sort of looks like maybe the ridge line. No, because I need to go in this direction. No, I need to go all the way in that direction. I, man, you know, this is a, a time when it's really bad to lose your way. It's not actually that bad because, you know, I'm not in danger of dying. I'm just in danger of <laughs> being tedious. Cinematic view of the ocean. All right, there we go. Now, if we can see the, the sword and shield, it'll be less obnoxious that I literally have forgotten where to go. But all I have to do is see, you know, one village, and I'll know that the other the other ones are there. So did I head just straight up the coastline from the uh, the shipwrecks? I can't I can't remember the the path. I'll have to look it up. There's a little. little island there that looks a little suspicious, but I don't think there's anything really going on there. Before long, it'll be uh, nighttime again. I, uh, you know, it would have been a lot cooler if I remembered where I was going, but it's all right. At least this way, if we, uh, if we find something else, I can put up a sand pillar and then forget where I laid it. Because sometimes when I'm like talking to myself in these contexts, I, I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, well, I'll complain about being lost and then I'll turn the corner and it'll suddenly be right there. But I don't think that's going to happen here. But I do think. All right, we got a buried treasure map, which is fine. And we're about to take some uh, damage from the breath, so. You know, not a, not a total failure anymore. The bad news is I now see... Okay, I have gone in a circle. Because that's the island from before. And this is that far away little mushroom place that I thought I hadn't been. So... So I just really don't remember. We've got several shipwrecks here. I don't think I've looted either of them. I've been playing too much of this, and uh, it all blends together. But are these going to be where the villages are? Are they right in this direction? And did I leave the shipwrecks because I was transfixed by the side of the meadow and the rooftops nearby? I just don't remember. Well, the sun is coming up over the hill, or maybe it's going down. This will be a time to tell the difference for sure. But it'll be time to make landfall, throw a bed down, and uh, you know, probably in the video, in the, the next video, build a sand pillar. Or look at the historical archive of videos and figure out what the actual coordinates are and uh, stop burning up time that I could be spending building a chicken farm by, uh, you know, being silly and getting lost. But real quick. Couple of torches. Traditional structure for the night. As always, getting it a little bit wrong on the first try. And there we go. And well, you know, that'll be a, a good time to, to cap it off as I as I have meandered around long enough. We don't need to leave the door here. We're unlikely to come back to this island. But 
there are a couple of shipwrecks which will be worth building pillars for which we'll go over to that beach and mine some sand uh, to build the pillar but we will do that in the next video so until then uh, you know thanks for watching thanks for listening and I know you might be thinking right now is he about to do 10 more minutes of sand mining no I'm just I'm merely getting in that direction and then I think that's gonna that's gonna do it for us here but it would have been a lot cooler if we could have ended by triumphantly going home and starting the mining process but this will be good enough. We'll be able to just take a little look around, realize we don't recognize anything at all, and that's okay. We don't have to. We're just going to get up a little bit higher, and that way we'll be able to one day come back, see the shipwrecks and so on. But uh, that will that'll be something for another day. And, uh, and I hope I will uh, see you then whenever that happens to be.